My name is Spa. Can you say hello, Spa? Very good. Sunny, it's sunny today. How's the weather? It's rainy. How's the weather? It's rainy. Last one is oh, yes, it's rainy. Rainy, rainy, rainy. Very good. Can you say it's rainy? It's Rainy, yes, you can say the sentence. Very good, Elsa. Very good, Emma. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Sebastian Kize and this is my channel. If you are a regular digula, a regular liker, a regular sharer, honey. Thank you so much for coming back once again, baby. And if you are new here today, welcome to the channel. Make sure that you click that subscribe button so that you can join the regular degulars. Okay, my loves, we are on the road to 6K. So please do make sure that you subscribe and you like this video and you watch till the end. Now guys, as you can see by the title, this is a video about how to make your very own demo video when you are trying to apply for a teaching job in Asia. Now I say Asia because I'm including China, I'm including South Korea, I'm including Japan. All these countries have similar kind of um, teaching styles for their expats and it's something that I guess is like a universal thing all around Asia when you're looking to make a demo video these are the things that they're going to be looking out for so without any further ado let's start this video if you are if you are interested in this content make sure that you watch to the end drop a comment if you have questions and I will be happily and I will happily answer those questions in the DMs as well as in the comments all right so anyway let's start this video so guys the first thing I want to chat about is what do you need before you even start to shoot this video okay so the things that you need to remember is that you really need to be enthusiastic okay you need to understand that this kind of teaching and um, especially teaching English as a second language requires enthusiasm requires energy that I think some of us in South Africa have never seen in a classroom um, another thing you need to remember is to have praise and rewards like at the moment you guys know that I'm currently alone I don't have kids with me at the moment but um, when I'm shooting this video as well, I'm going to use my imagination, okay? And that you need to do the same. And um, kind of imagine that you have kids here and kind of reward and give high fives and say, good job. I'm going to kind of name kids as I go along. So this is something that you need to do. And it's kind of just really going with the flow and making sure that you are showing them that you, can't, you can be a teacher who um, gives students encouragement, who gives rewards, who, gives, um, who creates an environment where the teacher gives praise to their students, okay? The next thing you need to remember is to speak at a slow pace and to articulate your words. Now, guys, this is something that I think you will learn when you do move to Asia, is that a lot of people do not speak English here, and so it's important to kind of start to articulate your words and to speak a little slowly than you would usually do so you will notice when I'm when I'm doing my introduction video when I'm doing my demo video sorry you're gonna see that I'm gonna speak slower than I'm speaking now okay the next thing I want you to remember is to stay away from big words okay keep it simple keep it instructional keep it very much um, like you're talking to someone who's never spoke or heard English ever in their lives okay so that is something that you need to remember when you when you're kind of preparing your script for your demo video okay so now let's go straight into the demo video so I'm gonna start off by kind of showing you guys each part that you need to do and consider and and you can take the tips that you want to take away from this video or you can do the exact same thing I'm doing it's up to you babes this is not the perfect um, demo video obviously there can be so many things improved but do make sure that you kind of take what you can and whatever you can learn from this I will be very happy okay so the, I've got my little notes here and I've got everything so I'm just gonna keep going and referring back to my notes okay so the first thing is to have greetings and then to introduce yourself okay to your kids so I'm gonna show you how to do that and I'm gonna just break it down bit by bit okay hello everyone my name is Spa can you say hello Spa very good very good now I can say hello to you hello tiger great job hello Elsa great job hello Emma 
Great job, Emma. I'm so happy to see you today. Okay, so guys, that is how you introduce yourself. That is just simple. You say your name and you say hello to the kids. You are energetic, you're smiley, and you're happy to see them. And you tell them, I'm happy to see you today, okay? The next thing you need to do is to have classroom rules. Now, I know some of you have never been in the classroom or set, uh, 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 set foot in a classroom, but this is something that is definitely important to set the expectations in the classroom for the kids in terms of how you want them to behave. This is gonna improve Press your um, interviewers as well just to see that you understand that as a teacher you need to have structure and you need to have routine so first up is the greeting and then it's the classroom rules so you can have three simple classroom rules and this is how you introduce them okay everyone now SPA has three rules one two three three rules what's rule number one sitting well very good sit well sit well What's rule number two? Always listen. Very good, Tiger. Always listen. Always listen to Sma and the teacher, okay? Rule number three, you can always raise your hand and you can say, let me try. Very good, one more time, ready, go. Let me try. Very good, Elsa. Very good, Tiger. Very good, Emma. Let me try. So. Those are the three rules. You go through them. You make sure that all the kids know that that is the, the behavior that ex is expected uh, for them or to them, expected of them throughout the lesson. Okay, the next thing I want to uh, talk about. So you've done your greeting. You've done your rules, classroom rules. Now you can do like a warmer or like a warm-up game or an icebreaker to, before you start with your content, okay? So this is something that I would also encourage and will really impress your interviewer to see that you are aware that when you're working with kids, you need to have multiple um, things that are teaching them and multiple ways that they are interacting with the language through music, through arts, through videos, through flashcards, etc., etc. So music is a great way to learn English as a second language. So for this lesson, I did prepare a song that I think most of us know, but I think it's important that you can prepare any song, okay, it doesn't have to go with what you're going to be teaching, but just to show that you want to do like a mini icebreaker. So today I am teaching How Is The Weather, so How's The Weather, so the song is going to be How's The Weather. Um, some of you might know the song, some might don't, might, uh, might not, but I wanted to show you guys um, how to sing it, okay? How's the weather? Clap your hands. Great. How's the weather? It's sunny. How's the weather? It's sunny. How's the weather? It's sunny. It's sunny today. How's the weather? It's rainy. How's the weather? It's rainy. How's the weather? It's rainy. It's rainy today. How's the weather? It's snowy. snowy. How's the weather? It's snowy. How's the weather? It's snowy. It's snowy today. Okay, guys. So that is a simple song you can find off YouTube. There are plenty other songs, other nursery songs that we know. You can sing with them. The wheels of the bus go round and round. Um, the rainbow song. You can sing um, Farmer Brown, he had a farm. You can sing whatever song, Old MacDonald, whatever song you want, but just make sure you know it, you have your music and you are uh, in incorporating it into your demo video, okay? So the next thing now, we're gonna go straight into the language, what they're gonna be learning. So you're gonna be introducing the topic. Now make sure with this, I'm just gonna give you some points before I show you how to do that. With this, make sure that you prepare some material gui materials, guys. Now this is something that you need to prepare because it will show initiative, it will show that you are organized, that you are willing, to go that extra mile to make your classroom more engaging. So there are plenty of free flashcards on the web where you can find uh, flashcards about colors, numbers, animals, whatever you choose to teach, but keep it age appropriate, okay? Do not go overboard to try and impress um, your interviewers. Keep it simple, keep it um, easy going, as well as engaging with different materials. You can bring toys, you can bring different color materials to teach and enhance the learning of your class okay so my lesson is going to be the weather different weathers and how's the weather 
So I'm gonna introduce the, the, the key words, okay? So you're gonna see me do that. And then I'm going to show you guys how you can incorporate the three Ps when you're doing your demo video, okay? So the three Ps are present, okay? Practice and produce. So present, meaning present the language, whatever you want to teach them. Practice, provide multiple opportunities for all the kids to practice saying it, pr practice pronunciation, practice linking the word to the flashcard and the picture. And the lastly, lastly is to produce, to, for them to produce on their own with little or no help from you, okay? So you're gonna see that happening for this game, all right? So here we go. Okay, everyone, today we're gonna be learning about the weather. Now, today, how's the weather in this picture? Oh, look, it's snowy. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. Can you show me? Snowy, very good. And look, this is a snowman. Do you like snowmen? Yeah, me too. Good job, Tiger. I like snowmen too. Now, look, I can say the word snowy. Snowy, very good. Tiger, can you say snowy? Very good, Tiger, high five. Elsa, can you say snowy? Very good, high five. Emma, can you say snowy? Very good, high five. Snowy, 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 very good. What's next? <gasps> Windy. <sighs> yes. It's windy, very good tiger, high five. It's windy, do you like windy weather? Mm, I don't like windy weather. Do you like windy weather? <gasps> okay, very good. So windy, windy, very good. Now can you use your high loud voice, okay? Can you say windy, very good, high five, you're so loud. Now can you whisper, shh, can you say windy? Very good, windy. Now, what's the next one? Oh, sunny, sunny, sunny. Sunny is very, very hot. Oh, so hot. Good job, Elsa. Very hot. High five, Elsa. Now, everyone, can you say sunny? Very good. Can you say sunny like a robot? Are you ready? Can you show me robot? Sunny, 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 sunny. Very good. Sunny, okay? What else do I have? <gasps> wow, cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. Very good, cloudy, cloudy. Tiger, can you say cloudy? High five, very good. Elsa, can you say cloudy? High five, very good, Elsa. Emma, can you say cloudy? High five, very good, it's cloudy. Now the last one is, oh, yes, it's rainy. Rainy, 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 very good. Can you say, it's rainy, it's rainy. Yes, you can say the sentence. Very good, Elsa, very good, Emma. Now everyone, look at me one more time. Rainy, rainy. High five, very, very good. Okay guys, so that is something that you would do when you're introducing your key language. You have your flashcards, you have multiple TPR. Now TPR is total physical response, meaning that you're coordinating your language with your physical movement. This is something that is very important in ESL learning because some of the kids might know that word in their native language. And so when you're incorporating the movement, they can kind of link the word with the English, um, with the, they can link the movement with the English word. So it's important that you have multiple TPR, okay? So that is how I would introduce so that is the practice and the present part now for them to produce you can have multiple different games to do this obviously if you wanting to make your video really long you can do this but I wanted to show you guys a game that you can you can do with them and once you've kind of had multiple times to practice you can kind of present and you can kind of produce with them at the end okay so this is something that could be just a summative assessment at the end just to recap and they can say the sentence so you do something like this Okay guys, it's time for Sba to say goodbye, but first I want to see if you remember the words, okay? And you can say the key sentence. It's 
blah blah blah. <laughs> Good, you can say it's snowy, it's sunny. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. It's snowy, very good. It's windy, very good, Emma. It's sunny, very good, Tiger. <gasps> good, Elsa. It's cloudy, high five, very good. It's rainy, very good, Emma, very, very good. Okay, everyone, it's time for Spa to say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye, Spa? Bye-bye, Spa. Bye-bye, everyone. See you. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so that is how you would kind of end off your lesson with a quick summative assessment, just to say, go through the flashcards, say the sentence, see who are the kids that say it, okay? You can also just give them, you know, a lot of praise, a lot of high fives. Individual praise is so important in this country, in this continent. So it's important that you incorporate that into your demo video. What else did I want to tell you guys? Okay, let me just double check. All right, so have a lot of energy. So let's, let's just summarize everything up. Have a lot of energy and enthusiasm, guys. I know it, it's a lot, energetically it's a lot, but it really does go a long way when they see that you're passionate, you're excited, you have enthusiasm, okay? The next thing is to prepare resources like flashcards, music, toys, whatever it is that you want to have into your demo video, okay? The next thing, lastly, use physical, use total physical response, TPR. TPR is going to be your best friend. Use your hands or your physical movement to link the language, okay? This is so important when teaching in ESL learners, okay? And then the last thing is to have fun with it. Just have fun. Um, don't take yourself seriously. Just, you know, be a clown and be funny, but also make sure that you hit the important part when it comes to the language, okay? So yeah, guys, that is what I wanted to share with you guys. That is how I wanted to kind of make this video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope if you're watching this, you, you learned something that can help you put together your demo video, okay? And this is something that can be, you know, useful for many, many years because I feel like, you know, English learning is constantly going to be there. Um, a lot of uh, non-native speakers want to learn English. English, so it's important for you to kind of make these demo videos to show what your classroom would look like all right thank you so much for watching my loves don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can join the regular degulars i love you so much i will see you in the next video Mwah.